Here we go, and Kansas controls the tip. Ron Harris at the point, one of the better point guards around. This one tipped away, but unable to control it. Almost a quick turnover off the bat for Samford. Would have been a great start for Ryland Jones. So now Kansas will start with a short shot clock. As Harris brings it into the front court, tend to shoot. Shot will come from the three-point range, and it goes. That's for Johnny Perfect. That's a good shot right there for Kansas. Good start. And kickball. Still Sanford basketball. 29 wins the most in program history. Fifth in the country in scoring. And they were perfect at home as well. It's about the third team we've had today that was perfect on their home floor. Listen, that's, you got you to protect your home turf. Yeah. Okay. Extra pass underneath is a good one. But sure, sure could have easily shot that one. But it makes a nice bounce pass. And this is where you talk about that bucky ball, that press. Let's see how Kansas handles that being a man down. That's going to be the story of the game for me. Will Kansas be able to handle that pressure? It was never a deep Kansas team, really, to start with. And then when you lose your leading scorer, McCuller, and as I said earlier, K.J. Adams might have to pick up some of that scoring slack. He scores for the first time there. That high-low that high -low action has been a staple of Bill Self for a long time since he was at Illinois. Graziani, the point guard, 5'8". Three-pointer won't go. Graziani gets the rebound off the long carol. They missed two threes. They've got another chance from inside and a chore with his first basket. Right now, Sanford just seems a step quicker to the ball than Kansas. Fouls on Jaden Campbell. The inbounds play, and he's chasing that baseline. Murphy got it in, and now Harris will do his thing. I like Harris. He's underrated. He's not a not a big time scorer, but does everything you need as far as it comes down to making winning plays. Yeah, over 200 assists. Here's a three from the corner, and that one goes. Second time for Perfect. Perfect with a nice three, but that was all set up by Harris. Drove the baseline. Understand there was nothing there for him. Able to draw the defense in and found first for the three ball corner pocket. A chore on the drive. And a whistle foul on the rebound. Gonna go against Timberlake, I think. You see Harris driving the baseline. Everybody for Sanford reacts to that drive. Perf, he's right there where he's supposed to be in the corner. And that's a rule. Anytime you have a baseline drive, you have to have a corner drift. Give your guy on the baseline somebody to throw that ball to. So Jaden Campbell goes to the free throw line. Senior out of Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Well, couch your courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Try and decide. Campbell buries the second one for his first point of the night. And no problem with the press. And then he went, took the shot over Graziani. And that's the cat and mouse game when you're playing against a team that presses. You have to understand when you have numbers and when you can attack once you break the press and when you should pull it out, run your offense and get and run your stuff. Kansas has a definite advantage inside with, with Dickinson and Adams, and they have to make sure they go to that at all times. Adams threw it away. Three won't go. Adams the rebound and has it knocked out by Graziani. Looks like they're going to face this full court heat all night long. That's Sanford's identity. 
They got Adams with the ball in the backcourt. They like that. They like that matchup. Adams having a little trouble. Graziani having a lot of trouble. And 10 seconds. Turnover. Graziani is fired up. And I understand Adams can handle the ball pretty well for a big fella. But if you're Harris, you got to get that rock. As soon as you see that there's a point guard guarding your power forward in the backcourt, go get that rock and make it easy on him. Chora will pull up and the two-pointer goes. And he's worked a lot on his game as far as being able to hit jump shots. This was a guy that expanded his game a lot since last season. Only averaged six points a game last year. This year, he's really uh, stepped that up, up to 16. Harris looking to feed Dickinson, who hasn't touched it yet. Harris, the hook pass. Adams hammers it home. That's why I talk about Harris making winning plays. This, that's the second time he's drove the baseline, and Kansas has benefited from it. The first time was a furphy three-point jumper. This time is Adams wide open dunk. Jor, a Jor with an air ball over Dickinson. Three ball, score it for Timberlake. Jones missed a three, and then there's a foul on the rebound. That'll go on Jermaine Marshall. See Harris once again pushing the tempo. No look pass for this for Timberlake, the six six year senior, knocking it down the corner. Started off his career at Towson. Out of Braintree, Massachusetts. <laughs> Jaden Campbell goes out. Ray Marshall back in. Actually, that's State McCray that came in for it. <laughs> the lob, and the first time Dickinson touches it, he scores it. Timberlake's got to be feeling good about himself. That's back to back excellent possessions. The three, and then the lob pass to Dickinson. Dickinson wants it inside. He's working hard. Let's we'll see how they're going to play him straight up. Is it going to be a double team? Dickinson, the left hand, doesn't get it. He heads to the free throw line. But if you look at Kansas, they haven't really had problems with that, that pressure in the backcourt except for that one possession where Adams got caught um, trying to dribble too much. And then you look at the assist, six early assists. Got the second. Dayton McCray, they double team him momentarily. Ryland Jones has not scored yet. They'll try a three ball and get a three ball. From Riley, Allen's back. Sanford Decker needs that. Six assists on the six field goals. Dickinson outside, got it. Nice touch out there. Yeah, really nice touch in the mid range. And another great setup by Harris. There's the answer on the other end. Staten McCray with a three. Oh. Perfect and a drive off the window. And when Kansas is breaking that pressure, they're looking to score and they're getting some easy opportunities up ahead. Murphy only averages 8.8. .8. He's got eight right now. Offensive rebound and a battle for it. And a seven point lead. Sanford ball get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com.
So Sanford keeps it on the baseline. The chore working against Dickinson. Going to try to fade and had it blocked in his face. Dickinson pulls it down and swing in those big arms to get the pass down in front of us. That's uh, over and back. <laughs> and, that, and that turnover was forced because as soon as Dixon grabbed the rebound, the chore just jammed up into him. And most bigs aren't used to that. To most what? of the time when you get a offensive re I mean when you get a defensive rebound, your guy's trying to sprint back down the court. But because Sanford plays that pressing style, they were into Dickinson right away. A chore. Three clangs off the back of the iron. Three Jayhawks collide, and one goes down, and that's Furphy. They cannot, Jayhawks cannot afford to have any type of injuries. You're not They're kidding. They were all going for the rebound, and it was a train wreck right there. Furphy obviously got the worst of it. I thought he might have just got the wind knocked out of him. Could be. He said, geez, first I threw the ball back from the front court, and then I had to get in that sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of that NBA Global Academy. It comes out of Melbourne, Australia. Center of excellence. And right now, he's got a bad elbow, and the wind knocked out of him. Tell you what, watching Kansas play this year first, he definitely has a chance to play at the next level. Mike is getting good size on him. The three-point ability. Juan Harris directing traffic. 13 and a half to go in the first half. Marco Jackson in the backcourt with him. And again, Harris says, you go that way, I'm going this way. Jackson got his man up. Nice move and buried it. Nice fake there by Jackson and then stepped right through. Juan Harris going to put a little one man pressure on Rylan Jones. Now there's bench points and there's bench points. <laughs> one does a really good job of it. Sure is not shy. Adams leaves it to Dickinson. The lay-in. Seven for Hunter. Kansas is 10 of 11 from the floor. They're getting quality looks. Open threes, dunks, and layups inside. The only tough shot Kansas really had to take was the up and under step through shot by Jackson. Jones on a fadeaway, no good. Harris the rebound. The lob. Dickinson got it down to Adams, but had it knocked out of his hands. You love movies, you're in luck because Max gets movies, lots of them. Award winning dramas, epic adventures, family favorites, and more. Stream now on Max, the one to watch for movies. Parker Brown has checked in for Kansas. And Achora Chor is going to go out and get a breather for Sanford. And a Kansas turnover. Three ball goes. And that's what Sanford basketball is all about. Quick turnover leads to a three-point shot. And that's another almost. turnover. That's back-to-back. -back. <laughs> it's kind of rare. We approach the midway point of the half. But you obviously saw the graphic and how the assists and the great shooting and the great shot selection by the Jayhawks. And now they're going to try to get some from the line. Dewan Harris hits the deck. He'll go to the free-throw line. 
Like you said, when Kansas isn't turning the ball over, they're normally getting quality looks. Adams right there, posting up big and strong, two feet right there in the paint. With the double King Harris just cut right off the top. That's Duan's first point of the night. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournaments, highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Duan Harris, great experience, not a big score, but he was on that 2022 national team. And he does so many things well. Leads them in steals and assists. And he's got his first two points of the night. And he's one of those guys that just makes magic happen. It's not always lighting up the stat sheet, but every coach loves to coach a player like Harris. You don't have to worry about him. He's an extension of the coaching staff on that court. And the three goes for Jaden Campbell, his second. Bulldogs came in with 335 threes on the year. They've added four more tonight. There are a lot of teams that had more than that. They average about 10 a game. The Bulldogs do. They turn you over and they shoot the three. And they get this rebound off the KJ Adams miss. And that air pass. Yeah, that might stay with the Bulldogs. Thought they were going to have their first turnover. Tournament summary. Number 14, Oakland pins number three, Kentucky. SEC's on the mat, they're 0 for 3. <laughs> My WWE friends are going to love this. Three double digits get over tonight, Oakland, Oregon, and Duquesne. You wrestling fans know what all that stuff means. Seven-point game here as we approach a midway point of the half. Our final game of the night here in Salt Lake. Dickinson will clear off the miss and the outlet pass in a hurry. We've got numbers. Oh, and Timberlake. And a chore with the oh. foul. Timberlake going up strong, trying to throw down the, the gauntlet. Oh, wow. Chore picks up the foul. The crowd didn't like it. They thought it was a clean block. What say you, Brad Nestle? It looks better when you see it a second time. That's what Bucky McMillan's saying, too. Nick Timberlake to the free throw line, a starter tonight. His first ever NCAA game, tournament game. Sanford 16 fouls, Kentucky only has one. You can tell the Sanford fans are behind us. They booed all the way through those two free throws by Timberlake. Timberlake's going to give him one back. He picks up his second. School record 29 wins, only five losses. The Bulldogs have won 12 of their last 14 games going into this. They started the year with two losses, lost to Purdue and VCU, and then they ripped off 17 straight wins. And they started winning the hearts. Not only their fans, but a lot of fans around the country. And so they're kind of a darling coming into this thing. I'll tell you what, they're one of the hardest practicing teams I've ever seen. Most of the time when you go through the, the live, the open portion of practice for these type of events, it's basically just glorified walkthroughs right. and things of that nature. Uh-uh. They were getting after it. On the back side of that defense. Shoulder looks fine to me. If he doesn't hurt it himself. Timberlake cut right where he's supposed to be in the middle of that, that press and then pressing the issue and finding Dickerson on the weak side for the jam. Josh Holloway going back to the free throw line where he just hit his last two. 
Comes off the mark. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download now to stay up to date on all the action. Got the second. Holloway with three off the bench. Adams got to give it up. They're going to press him again. Adams to Jackson and back to Adams. Adams not really going to be a guy that looks for that jumper. He's going to more along, along the line to trying to drive to get to the basket. And Kansas throws it away. And that possession, Samford went to a little bit of his own. And that can give Kansas a problem at times because they don't really have the shooting, especially with the injuries that they have. They're, they're missing some of that outside shooting. Yeah, McCuller, good three-point shooter, 18 points a game. There's the points off turnover. Still, Samford has the edge. And Kansas has not had that luxury because these guys have not turned it over. So when you look out there right now for this Kansas team when it comes to shooting the ball. Nice outlet pass by Adams to Harris. Harris tried to lob to Dixon, who was Dickinson wasn't looking for, and it came right back to DeWan. And now KJ off the window and one. That's a nice take right there by Adams. Strong boy, strong take. McCullough says, you're filling in for me. We need your scoring. Adams just attacking the basket, absorbing the contact and one. And it's great to see McCullough over there supporting his teammates. You know he wants to be out there with his guys. Yep. He's obviously disappointed. But still leading even though he can't play. Through his knee, he tried everything he could to get back in the lineup, and it just didn't respond the way they had hoped. The bone bruises on the knee is a very tough thing. Nice job by Dickinson to keep it alive, just swatting it out to Harris on the missed free throw. Here's the line, Adams. So KJ had a four-point trip down court. And Harris is just carving Sanford up. Every time he dribble drives into the lane, something good happens. Raziani back in there at the point, giving away a lot of height with Adams guarding around the baseline. Dickinson rejected that shot by a chore. Here comes Furphy. Leaves it underneath for Jackson. And it's timeout time for Sanford. They don't want to let this thing get too out of hand. 36-22, Jayhawks. Kansas understands that and they're taking advantage. Got to play to your strengths. Right now, Bulldogs just looking for a quality shot. Under 10 on the clock. Jones, a fadeaway over Dickinson, rimmed it out. Rebound out to Jackson. 14-point lead for Kansas, the biggest so far of the half. Juan Harris pulls it out, turns around, has a look to Coach Self. Adams to Jackson. Three is too long. Kept alive by Furphy. Right out to Adams. You got a technical foul? And yes, we are on the bench. And it's going to be on Bucky McMillan. You can see that that official went right over to that bench and he was like, this goes out to you, you, <laughs> and only you. And it puts Juan Harris at the free throw line. All of DeWan's points so far have come from the free throw line. And he drains the two technicals to run the lead to 16. Okay, Kansas right now, I'm coming right back to the pick and roll action. I'm going to that high low one more time. That high low has been good for him. 82% from the floor. They're trying to pack it into Dickinson and the chore knocked it away. It'll still be Jayhawk ball.
Jackson on the drive, finds a shoot, puts it up off the window. Nice rebound by a chore. Try to get it back to him, and Furphy knocked it out of bounds. A chore complaining that Furphy grabbed him on the roll, and I agree with him. Just over seven remaining in the first half. Graziani will inbound. Out to a three-point shot. Won't go for Nathan Johnson. Dickinson right there wanted Adams to flash right to that high post so he could get that high-low action. He stayed inside. And they tried to get it down to Dickinson. He got his fingertips on it. That was it. I'm Sanford, I would stay with that. I would front the post with Dickinson, and when Adams flashes, I would not overreact. I would force Adams to try to beat me with either that mid-range jump or making the plays himself. We know what Dickinson can do. No points in the last three and a half minutes for the Bulldogs. Graziani's going to try and score it. That ends that drive. And he comes up with a steal on the other end, and then a foul on El Marco Jackson. Watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break presented by AT&T in the March Madness Live app. Download now. So Dallas Graziani causes a little havoc on both ends. First the pull-up jumper, and then the steal. Created a foul, gives it back to Sanford. Jackson's a little bit too casual right there with the ball in that press. And a kick ball by Dewan Harris. When you break that press, your head's got to be on the swivel because you got to understand these guys at Sanford, they're not hanging back. They're coming in with active hands trying to get steals and strips. Rousing out against it right back to a chore, and he scores it off the glass. That's an offensive foul. On Harris. No. Nope. Yes. The little guy with the big heart. Played on the Division II National Championship team at Nova Southeast last year. Now in the big leagues here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's an, an offensive easy foul. Easy call. The way he hit the mat, it was like Rocky Graziani. <laughs> Graziani just frustrating Harris right there. Good thing he had the mouthpiece in. Official review here. Oh, come on. We're not reviewing this, are we? Yeah, they're just wondering if that was an intentional or a flagrant on Harris, I guess. I know. I think he's just lifting his arm. Yeah. Just try to get open. Got a little bit overzealous. Dallas sold it pretty good, too. So they'll have a look with 544 remaining in the first half. Gene Steratore is joining us from New York. Gene? Looks to me, Ness, not like a classic hook and hold. Looks like a, a common foul and then a rake up with the arm. But to me, that doesn't rise to the level of hook and hold or flagrant one. Well, if Graziani was taller than 580, might not have even gotten him in that spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you just got to love the hustle of Graziani. Getting into Harris. Common foul, Sanford ball the baseline. Thank you. Common foul, Sanford ball baseline. So what we expected, what what we got. So that's a first on to Juan Harris. Let's see if Graziani can make it three possessions in a row where he's either scored 
or gotten a steal or maybe an assist this time. Dickinson, that outlet pass was in a hurry to Jackson. Oh, wow. And the cross court stolen. That was just a really bad pass by Jackson. Pull up three is short. Dickinson's another outlet to Furphy. And then knocked away. Nice hustle by the Bulldogs. Nothing to show for it, though. Kansas early in this ball game is doing a great job of taking care of the ball when they broke the initial part of the press. Right now, they're a little bit too careless. Jackson with two turnovers. Furphy right there with almost a turnover. Kansas has 10 turnovers. Sanford only one. When you break that press, you can't relax. You got to make sure you execute. When you get the numbers advantage, make Sanford pay. And another turnover. And, and Bill Self has seen enough. That's three turnovers for Jackson. He's out of there. They're going to. They're definitely going to pull him. And with that, back comes Nick Timberlake. Yeah, there was definitely nobody on there. Their season average. They're on it right now, or close to it. A chore, a crossover step. Dickinson blocks it. His third of the first half. Nice block by Dickinson right there. A chore went to the Euro step. Dickinson was not fooled. Yeah, Bulldogs get it right back. Again, backcourt pressure. Once it gets into Juan Harris's hands, doesn't really matter. Yeah, once that one when Harris gets it, normally something good happens. Dickinson clangs that one off the side of the glass. He rushed it. Oh my Whoa. There's a poster for a chore. A chore, a chore. Coming down the lane. That was filthy. That woke everybody up in the arena. Lob to Adams, and that one does the same on the other end. KJ with 10. And five out of six from the floor. Little floater won't go. Dickinson clears it off. Man, he gets a pass out there in a hurry. That's another turnover. Let's see if the Bulldogs can get this into single digits before halftime. That would put them in striking distance. Extra pass to a chore. He's got 10. Great possession. Excellent dribble drive down the lane. A chore, chore cut it to the open area. A chore with 10, and it cuts the lead to 10. Jackson back in the game. I'm sure Bill Self talked to him about being strong with the basketball and right away he contributes with a mid-range jumper. 15-footer gives him six for the game. Oh, that was not a pretty shot by Holloway. Dickinson can hit the three. Not that time, though. The chore with a rebound. He's going to try a triple with his own. He got it. A chore, a chore. They got it down to single digits, and we still got 243 to play in the half. Bulldogs hanging with the Jayhawks. Single-digit ball game now. Sanford made a little push here. Achora Achora has the last nine points for Sanford. This push they made was huge. Kansas at one point had this lead up to about 16 points. They had it at 38 to 22.
Murphy the wrap around the extra pass Dickinson with a right hand. Nice move. Really nice move. No wasted motion. Once again, once he's sealed inside, he gets right to that jump hook. It's pretty much automatic. State McCray wanted to take a three, but Adams right in his hip pocket. Under 10 on the clock. That one's going up, and it's short. Dickinson picks it out of midair. And now KJ Adams, the extra pass. Jackson up and under. Good looking move, just didn't finish it. Million dollar move. 20 cent result. Twenty-five to go in the half. That three-pointer goes. And that's what they, that's what Sanford does. They just wear on you. They keep hitting threes. They keep pressuring you, and eventually they expect you to fold. Garrett Hicks. Finally, a few threes are dropping for the Bulldogs. In this case, Garrett Hicks, the six-foot grad student, buries his first shot of the night. Sanford. Deep team as well. They've played six guys off the bench. They will come at you in waves. Yep. Their last tournament appearance was an opening round loss to Syracuse 24 years ago. You know why their fans are excited. Mass substitution for the Bulldogs. Timberlake got them both. Seven points for him on the night. Lead back to ten. A lot of substitutions for Sanford especially. Kansas just doesn't have enough bodies to go to to have a lot of substitutions. They didn't have a lot of bodies before. No. Before the injuries. They definitely don't now. One thing though that Bucky McMillan said to us yesterday. I was talking about you know the short bench that Phil Self has. And he said yeah but. Those guys that haven't played that much were McDonald's All-Americans too, or either that or four-star guys. Boy, KJ Adams doesn't get much ground on defense. Not at all. He doesn't give an inch. Dickinson just keeps on flying in there. A no wild shot right there by Dickinson. And foul on Kansas. This is just a little out of control, trying to avoid the charge, never quite had it. And one and one coming up on the other end for Nathan Johnson. Dickinson, though, 11 points, nine, 11 points, 10 rebounds already, a double double. I was worried about what his conditioning would look like, seeing as how we've got a little bit of altitude up here. Right. He hasn't been playing. Missing time, obviously, with the shoulder injury. I was worried if he might come out and be a little bit winded or a little bit flat, but he's put on quite well in the first half. Johnson nails both free throws his first two points of the game. So it's at eight again with 40.7 remaining in the half. We said single digits by halftime would be a good sign for the Bulldogs. One more stop and then one more field goal would really be good. But at least as it is, they're still very much in the ball game with a half to go. Sanford's going to his own. Dickinson Adams got to work that two-man game as they do right there, working to perfection. Boy, just a no look easy pass by Adams knew exactly where the big guy was going to be those guys play off each other so yeah. well and, and it's unique because most of the time when you have guys playing off each other well like that like a guy like Adams is because he has that long range shooting ability Adams doesn't have that he just has a great touch and feel for the game 
three-pointer off the mark, so it's not going to be a single-digit game at halftime. It's going to be a double-digit lead for the four-seeded Jayhawks. So here we go, second half. Number 13 seed, Sanford Bulldogs, down 10 to the fourth-seeded Jayhawks of Kansas. If Kansas can hold this lead, they will play another set of Bulldogs on Saturday. And the opener is Timberlake for three. Timberlake finding a nice spot right there in that zone for an easy three-point bucket. And Wilson with a foul on the rebound. That's a wide, I mean, that's wide open. There was no, there was no one to been like five yards up. <laughs> and maybe a three-pointer on the other end for Sanford as Jermaine Marshall knocks one off the window. Kansas right there just fell asleep. Marshall was wide open right there in front of the basket. That's three fouls on Timberlake. Jermaine Marshall. 6'6", six, six senior out of Brighton, Alabama, for the free throw line. That's the guy you want to get it to, Harris. He's the guy that's been making all the great decisions when the pressure defense arises. Timberlake, same spot. This one, not the same result. It was halfway in and came back out. Ryland Jones, who's about a nine-point-a-game scorer, has not scored in this game. Graziani on a cut to the lane. And very few turnovers for Sanford. That's only their third, but a costly one there. And this time when Adams had the ball in the backcourt, as soon as he saw Graziani, he gave it up immediately. Dickinson and Adams playing down low together. And Adams gets the roll, and he'll go to the line. Bully ball at its finest. That's the definition of taking a bucket. One bounce, two bounce. I'm bigger than you, and I can prove it. Well, if there's a guy on this team that's built like a football player, it's K.J. Adams. Yeah, they talk about no days off in the gym. They're talking about that guy. I don't know. He might not be the most fit person on the team, though. Their assistant coach, Fred Corbaum. Oh, <laughs> so, Fred. A couple times. I, I, I ran into Fred in the gym. Fred is 56 <laughs> years old, looking like he can go out there and, and play 15 minutes right now. Yeah, that's true. I made Coach Court up on my promise, too. I said if, if they win this game, I was going to meet him at 6 30 a.m. tomorrow to work out with him. So. Coach Self came into our room last night and said, I don't know where the heck Fred is. He's probably working out. Yeah. And it was about 9 o'clock at night. I probably shouldn't have told him at 6.30, though. Maybe I should have tried to get 8.30. <laughs> yeah. we, we did do four games today. I know what I'm doing at 6.30 in the morning. Adams, again. We'll call you and get you and get you invited to the breakfast club. You do that. My phone will be off. <laughs> Lead goes to 15. So the first four minutes that Sandler was hoping to improve their standing and cut into the lead. Instead, it's gone the other way. Might have been touched by Dewan Harris, but it's well short. Tough shot right there by Marshall. I think we got a clock malfunction. Had a few of those clock issues today. Yeah. To the officials' credit, they've been on it every single time. Yep. We've had one in every game except one. One game they even had to pull out the stopwatches to get it. Yeah. We went old school on that one. And it's frozen at stuck at 20. And 1803 is frozen too. Yeah, that's a clock problem. It's a double clock problem. That's a major issue. Free timeout for the coaches to go over some strategy on the sideline. 
There's Fred right there where it says capital. Yeah. Yeah, he does look. He does. I mean, you can't tell me. How, Fred, how old is he? He's 56, no, man. Oh, I didn't believe that. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Fred looking like he's 35. I know it. <laughs> Again, a clock issue. If you're just tuning in and you're wondering what's going on. They're going back and reviewing what we lost and resetting the clock. And they tell both coaches what's going on. So we'll see if it kicks in when they throw it in. Now Marco Jackson right next to his coach will be the trigger man. Marshall and Adams got something going on. And I noticed it when, when Marshall got the and one. You know, Adams wasn't too happy about something that Marshall said or did after that, and they've been kind of going back and forth ever since. The clock is working. Both clocks. Dangerous pass. And a foul on the floor. Later tonight, Adam Lefko, Jay Wright, Candace Parker, and Seth Davis have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness presented by Buick. Later tonight, only on True TV. Some long days and nights for our studio crews for sure as well. I tell you what, that oh wow. Wow, my shot almost missed everything. But I did that studio show for a couple of years. I tell you, you started like 10 in the morning as Harris hits a three, and you don't get off till about 1.30, 2 a.m. And then you got to go right back and do it again the next day. And in your case, that's a long time to go without food. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a steal. Murphy trying to go behind the back, and while he's doing so, he's fouled. By Jaden Campbell. Not a big three point shooter, but he can hit him. He's improved in that area. He's not looking to take up a lot of them, but if you give it to him, he can knock it down. This is 26th of the year for the Kansas point guard. Murphy on the baseline, blocking foul, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Nice take by Murphy. Murphy. Quick swipe through. Sees the contact, seeks it out. Has the concentration and the wherewithal to still get the basket. Kevin yeah, McCullough saying, yeah, my guys are doing it. For Murphy, double figures with 10. For Jermaine Marshall, Four fouls now. Caps the three point play. Biggest lead of the night. And a 13 to 2 run in the last three minutes. A chore. Good move Adams on the inside. They give it back to him. And still he has a hard time with Adams, but he does pick up the foul. So a chore, a chore. A junior out of Melbourne, Australia to the free throw line. 13 point first half for him. Hasn't scored so far here in the opening three and a half. He's got six field goals. The rest of the team has eight. That's not good. Couch or courtside, refresh your fandom with a delicious Coke Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? Well, try and decide. Second one. 
comes on an easy rebound for Dickens. We had a double double in the first half alone. And I, like I said, I've been impressed. Dickinson didn't know what I was going to get with the shoulder injury and him missing time. Oh, Adams on the backside deep with a nice dump, but back to Dickinson. He's been fresh for a guy that's not been playing, missing playing time, practice time. He does not look out of shape or winded at all. Graziani, three, and it goes for him. Got a friendly bounce. Harris gets it back for three. In and out. Graziani the rebound. Graziani calling for the screen. Let's see what they're going to get right here. Well, he had to pick up his dribble. What a tough shot around the body of Dickinson by Staten McCray. Listen now, this Sanford team is not going to go away, and there's another offensive foul. And that's Jackson's fourth turnover. I thought we had an agreement. We're not going to talk about that on there. <laughs> yeah, that's a turnover the Bulldogs didn't need out of that timeout. Here Kansas stop. Get a quality possession. Run that pick and roll. Look for the high low. Get Dickinson involved or Adams. That's where that's what's been good for you. Adams hooks it inside to Dickinson, who's fouled from behind. Easy, and that's like I said, that's easy money. Look at this lineup out there. There's nobody in a Sanford uniform that can match up with Dickinson. If you don't have a quick transition three, make sure you get that ball in the Adams or Dickinson. Let them touch it. Good things will happen if you do that. Well, there's really not a lot of guys that are 7'2, 265 pounds. Look at that foul. <laughs> He's draped all over Dickinson. Just worry about with Dickinson with that with that shoulder. That that type of foul right there with it pulling directly on it. Nothing dirty there in my opinion. Nathan Johnson giving away about seven inches in that matchup, and I don't know how many pounds. But they'll take a look. Dickinson does a great job of sealing early. Gene Steratore, I want your opinion, my friend. You know, initially, Ness, you see both arms around, and it's a big on small. I get it a little, but at some point, once he gets that entry pass, I think you've got to let go. And when he continues to tug on Dixon's arm there as he makes his pivot, in my opinion, I, that doesn't feel like a basketball play now. That just looks like now I'm trying to help, you know, stop you from going and elevating. And it rises to me as an intentional as we look at it right there because he's just restricting him from being able to move whatsoever. Yeah, this is almost a tackle. Although he still didn't get him down. <laughs> so the officials have made their choice, I think. Potential. Blake one. That play is an F1. That common foul has been upgraded to an F1. So yeah. it upgraded to an F1. Wow. And Dickinson to the free throw line. Doesn't connect. I thought it would just be a common foul, but I guess that's why we pay Gene. That's why we pay Gene the big bucks. Well. He missed both free throws, so really no harm done so far. Other than maybe to that right shoulder of Hunter Dickinson. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Screen and roll, work that high low game. Feed KJ Adams if he gets near the rim. Harris three comes out. And a foul 
On the rebound is going to be on Allen's back. Just the size advantage of Kansas is just on display right now, whether it's Dickinson posting up inside or Adams playing above the rim, bully ball himself. Furphy right now getting in on the action with the offensive rebound. Kansas, Kansas just has too many big bodies. So Furphy's picked up some of the scoring slack, as has K.J. Adams. Be prepared for history to be written, hearts to be broken, and one champion to be chosen in the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL on TNT playoff coverage begins April 20th on TBS and Max. Murphy hits both free throws. 13 points for him. 13 for Dickinson, 16 for Adams. A chore on the drive. Got around Dickinson. Nice shot. Go right there by a chore. He's coming up a little gimpy. Something happened to his calf. I'm not sure for sure it's cramping or what, but they might want to get Dickens in the ball or stop the game. They are going to stop it. Oh, I think nice. I think it's a cramp. We hope that's it. Mm. It was a blow by right here, showing his speed. There he planted with that left leg, and then got the layup. He was doing He's fine. He's okay right there. Right there. Oh, there it goes. I don't think he got hit. I think it's more of a, more of a cramp. Yeah. yeah. He was about a third of the way down court when his gait changed. Yeah. And you see him clapping now. He's walking up again. He doesn't want to come out, but he knows he has to. Get him a little bit of Gatorade. He'll be all right. He's led the way this year, averaging 16 points a game, and that's what he has right now. See if Sanford can get a couple stops. He had it dwindled down late in the half to single digits. Dickinson just so strong with a rebound and then the left hand hook. He puts that 7 2 body to good use. Offensive rebound, quick jump hook. He just knows there's nobody inside that can mess with him. Three on the other end goes for Allen's back. His second three pointer. So they got. A one point advantage out of that exchange. They just got to stop Kansas machine like offense on the other end. Adams off the mark. Rebound. Bulldogs. Try to get it back to 14. And a foul on the way to the hoop. It's going to be on Furphy. <laughs> Tell he's still cramping up badly over there. He is in pain as yeah. they're trying to work that cramp he's, out. He's, he's grabbing one of the towels from the trainer just so he can have something to bite on over there. I tell you what, catching those cramps in your calf is never fun. Uh -uh. You ever caught one in the middle of the night that just wakes you oh, up? Oh, terrible. Those are the worst. Hey, Allen's back with another three pointer. Down to 13 with just over 13 to play. Sanford will not go away. Testament to their character and their coaching staff. Drive by Timberlake to the rack. I'll tell you what, Timberlake has given them great minutes today. Whether it's been finding guys for lob pass dunks, knocking down threes, and then right there, the nice layup. Averages less than five points a game, and he's got 12. That's what they talk about. When, they, when your number's called, you got to be ready. Obviously, um, Kansas is down there leading score tonight, but Timberlake has stepped up in a major way. Uh, no foul there. Looked like there should have been one. Check in with Dana. Guys, you're talking about Timberlake. Remember, he started at Towson, and this is the first tournament games that he got to play when he got here to Kansas. He entered the transfer portal last season. 70 schools recruited him. Obviously, when Bill Self called, he said it was different because he knew that would mean tournament play. For him. Yep, one of the blue bloods. Yeah, I'm going. We'll go 35 years in a row. Pretty much, we're going to the tournament. Jones, nice little underhand give. 
to Allensbach, who's come to life here. Chance for another three-point play. If he can hit the free throw on the other side of this break. Allen's back, feeds the post, a chore, and it blocked out of bounds. Nice job by Parker Brown. You know, sure, gobbled up that space, but Brown did a great job of timing that well. Playing without fouling also. Dickinson out right now with 17 points, 14 rebounds, but walking, well, actually is sitting right now, double-double. Offensive rebound, back up for three is Ryland Jones. That's his first basket. Comes at a good time. Lead down to 12, and he knocks it out of bounds as the pressure almost paid off. Kins has to be careful right here. They cannot relax. Can't, let, can't afford to let Sanford get in this game. And Dickinson right back in. Let's see if that backcourt pressure can rattle Kansas at all. Not when it's in number three's hands. Harris gets the ball. Norm normally, he's a calming influence on this team. Normally, good things are going to happen. There's a round of screen from Adams. Now Adams on the baseline. Up strong. Didn't get it to go. And Alex Vax got the rebound. Chance to cut it to 10. Oh, nice hands by Dickens. Forcing the turnover. And that Timberlake up and under. What a game Timberlake's had. He's shown us a little bit of everything. Showed us the three-point shooting early, then the passing. He's got 14. Now the nice layup. The threes are falling for number 35, though. Might have been a foul offensively on Harris. No call. He takes it all the way with the left hand. Harris did an excellent job right there. Nobody from Sanford stopped the ball. Sometimes you see guys get caught in no man's land. Harris went straight to the basket. Bulldogs trying to push, but every time they do, the Jayhawks have an answer. A chore lost the handle. And they're going to say he was pulled. So a foul. You see Harris is looking. He's surveying. He's looking to see what's going to happen. A quick little fake. Now you see me. Now you don't. The defender reacts to that fake, slides over there to, to Dickinson. Harris with a nice, easy layup. The chore still walking a little more gingerly than he was before the cramp. Cramps are just bothersome. And now he's going to head toward the line. Got himself a little breather. One for two from the stripe, both in this half. Another one ribbed out. Dickinson might end up with a 20 20 night here. It's a possibility. Wow. Tough okay. catch by Perfect. Harris going to let fly from three. In and out. Allen's back with a rebound. Jones, a three of his own. Got it. And, Sam, and Sanford has heated up from behind the three-point line in a hurry. Down to ten again. And we're under ten to play. They just keep hanging around. They refuse to be knocked out of this ball game. Bill Self wants a timeout. 9.15 remaining. Bulldogs won't go away. We got, got a shoulder to the face and almost turned his ankle all on the same play. 
Oh, what a turnover. Nice job defensively by St. McCray, and he's the recipient on the other end. And that's, this is just what they talked about. Sanford wanted to get this thing in the single digits and then let all the pressure fall on Kansas. How does Kansas respond? Yeah. That's the question. Kansas is led by as many as 21 this half. Harris, that three won't go. Rebound tipped around. And let's see, over in the corner. I think they're saying it's going to be Kansas ball. KJ Adams was fighting for it over there with State McCray. Some great hustle by both those guys. And yes, off State and McCray's leg. Yes. Great call. And the Bulldogs get a stop. 8.40 to go right now. They're back in that zone. And they did get a stop on the turnover. Pull up three. Off the mark. Jones and Allen's back had scored the last 17 points for the Bulldogs. A little heat check by Rylan Jones, but that one didn't go. This place never, brought go. The, never brought the house down. I was about to say, this place is going to go crazy. That one was going And now Jones trying to reach around to get a steal and instead ends up with a foul. He's got a plug in his nose. <laughs> There's been a lot of knockdowns tonight. No knockouts, thank goodness. You see Sanford show Kansas multiple looks. They're bouncing from zone to man, trying to confuse him in the half court. Harris kicks to the corner to Perthy. That's short, but that's not. K.J. Adams, 18 on the night. You look at the definition of athlete in the dictionary. It's got K.J. Adams' picture right there. A chore against Dickinson draws the foul. Murphy for the three-ball corner pocket, but it's not going to drop. But don't worry, his boy Adams got his back. Right now, they got their hands full with the Sanford Bulldogs. The Gonzaga Bulldogs would be next. A chore has 17 and four rebounds. Give Sanford credit. This lead ballooned at one point, but they never wavered. They just kept sticking with their style, and they're and right here. They just keep waiting for that, that knock. They just keep waiting for that opportunity to, do, to deliver that knockout punch. Check in with Dana. Guys, this is what Coach was just talking about, what you're seeing here. He wanted them to really stay on in full court. What he said to me at halftime, wear them down, just stick with them. Let's be in this one. They got a shot. Low again. Dickinson. That hot low has been unstoppable. It has just been flat out unstoppable. Dickinson, 19 points and 15 rebounds. Every time Sanford makes that push into single digits, Jayhawks come back and score. A chore, three. Whoa, he got it. There was some miscommunication right there on the pick and roll. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a switch or this supposed to be a hedge and recover, but whatever Kansas did, they left a chore wide open, and Dickinson was none too pleased after the play. Down to seven, partner. I don't think it's been that close since it was uh, 15 to seven, right around that area in the first half. Six on the shot clock. Good defense. And a stop. And the outlet pass shouldn't have made that one. What a play. Adams will go to the free throw line. What a play by Timberlake. That's a game-saving type play that you won't really talk about that much, but there was somebody for Sanford that was streaking down the court for a layup if Timberlake doesn't get his hand on that ball. Here's another look. Right there. If you look right out ahead, I can't see who's out in front, but Sanford had an easy layup if Timberlake doesn't make that defensive play. It was State and McCray that if he would just gotten a little more height on that pass, it's an easy flush on the other end. And it would have cut the lead down to five. Instead, it's KJ Adams at the free throw line. And it rimmed out. After the game, watch the impractical jokers publicly humiliate each other for your enjoyment. That's next after NCAA coverage. Sounds like our crew when we get together.
purposely humiliating each other for our own enjoyment. Dickinson's going to the bench for a little bit. If you're Sanford, you got to try to make this run while the big fella's out of the game. Oh, KJ missed them both. If you're Sanford, there's no reason not to try to attack the rim. Dickinson's not in there. Try to attack that rim, draw Kansas in, and then after that, spray it around the perimeter and get your threes. Six and a half to play. Here goes a three ball. There goes a three ball. Jaden Campbell. It's down to four. I tell you what, and you can tell this building has turned on Kansas. Everybody in here wants to see the upset. And a timeout. 6-18 to go. Four-point ball game. Let's put him back in this thing. Oh, and Jackson. Jackson wasn't even looking for the ball right there. That was dangerous. Murphy almost threw it away. Harris goes back to the corner to Timberlake. Missed a three. A chore of the rebound. A two-possession game. Jones is fouled by Jackson. He'll go to the line to make it a one-possession game. Bill Self is going right to the bench to go get Hunter Dickinson. He understands he's in a dog fight right now. He's going to need the big fella down the stretch. Probably wanted to rest him for maybe another extra minute, but Kansas cannot wait. The momentum has totally shifted. Ryland Jones played at Utah, played at Utah State. He's from Logan, Utah. Right now, he's the toast of Birmingham if he keeps this comeback going. Jackson out, Dickinson in. No offense from this guy in the first half. And then two big threes. And one of two from the line. Dickinson, his 16th rebound. If you're Kansas right now, it has to go through the big throw. Let him get a touch, then we'll play out of, outside of that. Adams, Timberlake three, rims out, a chore of the rebound. I'm saying, but I'll run the screen and roll with Dickinson again and see if I can get him to mix it up up top. Jones fakes around, up and under, oh got it! The Sanford crowd going crazy in Salt Lake City. It's a one-point game with five to go. Harris, a runner, got it. That Warby. calms things down for the Jayhawks a little bit. And Harris called his own number right there. Thumb up. Mid, just simply a mid-screen and roll play came off, and he understood they were going to give him that shot, and he was more than willing to take it. That ends a 9-0 run for the Bulldogs. Lob inside. Allen's back. Fouled by Harris from behind. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. That's great. That's great work by Sanford. Got the pick and roll. They understood Kansas was switching. Once they had Sam, once they had Allen's back inside against Harris, they threw it right to him. Allen's back's only made one trip to the line. He missed it. He's a 68% free throw shooter. That one's 100%. 15 points for the freshman out of Charlotte. Concern on the faces on the bench for the Jayhawks. And that was last touch by Dickinson. Everything just seems to be going Sanford's way. This is the moment of you, Sam. This is what you live for. If you'd have told Sanford before the game, hey. With under, with under five to play, it's going to be a two. It's going to be a one possession game. They would have taken it. This You're game has never been tied. Still going to be Bulldogs ball. 14 on the shot clock. With 14 on the shot clock, Sanford's been getting good action in that mid pick and roll. I would run that mid pick and roll with a chore. See what they're going to do with Dickinson. It's 
scoring drought is Kansas right now. Over three minutes, just two points. They're going to, and Detroit's wide open again. Sure, the extra pass. And Dickinson. Great recovery by Dickinson on the weak side, but Detroit is wide open. He actually could have popped to the far side. He, he would have had an easy jump shot. Come right back to it. Kansas has not solved that problem yet. The Dickinson pick and roll right now, I'm not sure where the miscommunication is, but they're putting two guys on the ball and nobody is responding to a chore. Lob into State McCray. He'll bring it back out. Jones the extra pass. Here's the chore. That won't go. Another rebound for Dickinson. This is a straight post up. We're going straight to him. Goal tipping, too. Murphy fouled. Kansas by four, under four to go. This four seed has their hands full right now with a comeback by the 13 seed Sanford Bulldogs. There was a goaltending on that previous play. And so here's Murphy for the free throw. Didn't go. A chore, another rebound. Two possession game with three. 45 to go. So now we see how nice, crafty move, but he did get the finish. But now we're seeing how Kansas has adjusted to it. They're going to try to go under that pick and roll. So Harris is going to go under one remove. So when the chore sets it, Harris is going to go underneath to meet him on the other side. What Sanford needs to do is turn right back around and run that screen again. And here's the steal. Oh, he stepped on the sideline. Jones came up with the ball, but ran out of real estate over there. Right there. Oh, yeah. We said a little bit earlier, Dickinson might end up with a 20-20. He's at 19 and 18 right now. Offensive. Easy call. Easy call. That gives it back to Sanford. Right there. Yeah, threw a shoulder into Jones. Shoulder and the off arm. And now if you're Sanford, it's just what I talked about. Run the pick and roll, top of the key with Dickinson. Harris is going to go underneath. When he goes underneath, have a chore stop and run the screen, turn around the screen and right again, and this time you'll get a good shot. Harris trying to go underneath it. Ball loose. Picked up by Campbell. Now a chore against Dickinson. Short. And another rebound. Kansas got to run. They got numbers right now. Out to Harris. The kick out. Timberlake buries a three. Ain't been a Timberlake this good since Justin. <laughs> In this case, Nicholas. What a night he's had. 17. And a chore. I think he's cramping again. Yep. And it's the other leg. You see Harris drawing the defense in, makes the absolute right read, finds Timberlake in the corner. Big time shot. Got to feel happy for the six year senior finally getting his moment in NCAA tournament. 28% three point shooter, but tonight he's I can't hit three tell. big ones. And he's shooting with confidence. Most guys that shoot 28% don't shoot with confidence like that. Yeah. Tonight he is letting it rip. He is not even considering turning down jumpers. Tonight is 50% so far. So now it's a three possession game with just under three to play. And a chore again has to go to the bench. 21 points, eight rebounds. The trainer will work on him over there again. Try to get him back out there because he's their really only hope on the inside. He goes out and Marshall comes back in. And Marshall's been out for a minute. Fifty two points in the paint for Kansas. Three pointer short. Oh. Timberlake got it and a collision with Jones. Neither one of them came out of it very nicely. I think Jones might have got 
He's already had a bloody nose, yeah. and now he took one. Like took maybe like a knee to the sternum or something? He's got scratches on his back. He looks like he's been through a bunch of thorns. Oof. Yeah, just like a hip check to the upper chest area. He's going to stay in and just walk it down court. Tough dude. Oh, yeah. It's 2.38. It's 2 minutes and 38 seconds left in this game. You know he's not coming out. Yeah. Tough kid. And Nick Timberlake. 17 points. Perfect from the line tonight. Until now. Still plenty of time. Free throw shooting has not been the greatest in this half, anyway. Kept alive underneath the offensive rebound by Campbell, and he's fouled. Campbell just going up amongst the trees to snag that one. That's four on Timberlake. Here's the guy you want at the line. Eleven points on the night. We make it a five-point game again if this one goes. Got them both. A chore. A chore battles back in, cramps and all. There's a foul trouble for both teams. Harris out in front of everybody. And he's fouled and will go to the line. Dickinson with another great pass. All of Dewan's free throws came in the first half, four for four. Rolled around and dropped, five for five. Kevin McCuller injured, not playing tonight. Cheering his teammates on from the bench. The other guys have picked up the slack that he left behind for sure. The color averages 18 a game, 18.3 to be exact. And Timberlake's not McCuller, but he has given them 17 points tonight with five of eight shooting and three of six and three. Whistle and a foul. Campbell's going to go back to the line. Well, Jaden was just there, and he's returning. Got it down to five with his last two free throws. This one rims out, though. Best they can do out of this is make it a two-possession game with two minutes to play. And they don't even do that. That's a double-fold miss for them because obviously they don't get the points, but then Sanford also doesn't get to set up their press defense. Kansas will play the clock a little bit here with a seven-point lead. It's high-low time. You know what it is. Pick and roll game. Look for the high-low action. Adams, Dickinson. The outside jumper won't go, and the rebound comes off to Marshall. Marshall will pull up and take a three. Another three attempt. This one does go for Jaden Campbell. 
Now to four with 118 to play. And Sanford scrambling around. Ends up in a three-point jumper. We still got a ball game. Don't go anywhere. Here we go. They get it into Dickinson immediately. And back to Furphy. He draws a double team. Dickinson high balls it. And they get it in the front court. But now it's over a minute to go. Now it's time to find Harris. Run that mid pick and roll. And let that ball find Dickerson towards the end of this shot clock. Dickinson. Not Dickerson. Sorry. And the lob to KJ Adams is too strong. Oh, wow. Turnover. That's the last thing they needed. They're checking to make sure that KJ's fingers were the last ones that touched it. And it's pretty obvious to us that it was. Oh, yes, yeah, there it is. Did. That's worth looking at because Marshall did get a finger on it, and then Adams got two on it. Right there. Right there, yeah. This one shouldn't even take that long. Eighty-eight, eighty-four. Sanford has never led. Kansas was up sixty-one to forty at one point in this game. Too many turnovers, that's for sure tonight. Bill Self will want to, if they make it out of this game alive, they'll want to clean that up. Eighteen turnovers. But some of that just has to be attributed to the type of pressure that Sanford brings consistently and relentlessly. They're pressuring you, they're pestering you. Very hard style to play against. Well, we've got 55.9 seconds remaining. If you're Sanford, you don't have to come down and just take a wild three quality shot. You've been getting good action with, with the chore in the mid pick and roll. He's back in. They've solved the problem of the cramps. Bring Dickinson to this mid pick and roll. Make a play and live with the results. Juan Harris is going to try to apply a little backcourt pressure. He and KJ Adams, and now everybody for Kansas comes up. Trying to give Sanford a little taste of their own medicine. Little equipment adjustment for Jermaine Marshall. He'll be the trigger man. Nobody on him as he inbounds the ball. Into the hands of Ryan Jones. Two possession game, 50 seconds to go. Jones thought about a long three. It's going to be a chore. I guess, I guess he's, he's done with the cramps for now. Wow. That's a quality two right there. A chore with the show and go. That's the second time he's put Timberlake in a poster. A chore, a chore. Can you believe this guy only averaged six points a game last year? Right Man, now he has worked on his game. Right now he's got 23. And the Sanford folks are beside themselves. It's a one possession game. 38 seconds in regulation remaining. Last time they Kansas tried to get the ball to KJ Adams, things didn't work out well. I'm a firm believer in go to your money players in big time situations. Get Dickinson the ball. I don't care if he has to catch it at the free throw line, the elbow, the low block. But the big fella has to touch it if Brendan Haywood was drawing up a play right now in the huddle. Each team one timeout remaining. Kansas ball with a two point lead. A lot of the fans here for the Bulldogs were not even born the last time they were in an NCAA tournament. 24 long years they've waited since that opening round loss to Syracuse. 
And now can they somehow come back from what seemed like an impossible journey to upset Kansas. And this is a 20 point lead for Kansas. Did you ever think we'd be here? No. <laughs> I love your candid eyes. <laughs> Jermaine Marshall will play the inbound man who's perfect. Got it into Dickinson. That, that's not who they wanted right there. And Dickinson got away with the elbow. Adams Long wide open. Ahead to Adams for the flush. Two possession game, less than 30 to go. Scramble for the loose ball. Who's got it? It's a tie up. Who's the arrow go to? Sanford. Eh, not as bad as I originally thought. But man, he can throw an outlet pass. I tell you what. But the only bad part about having Dickinson catch the ball in that press right there is everybody from Sanford knows he's not going to put the ball on the floor so he can press up into him. If Adams wasn't wide open, I think it sure left him on the backside. If it sure doesn't leave him. On the backside, Dickinson would have been in a very bad position right there with that ball. Now the fans are getting a little restless with the officials. With another review. What are they reviewing? Oh, the time. They're reviewing the time again. Right now we've got 22.2 and that is a one second difference on the shot clock and the game clock. Well, Sanford if it ain't broke don't fix it. Get the ball in immediate mid pick and roll with the chore. And let's see how Kansas is going to play it. Last time they tried to show him recovery it didn't work out well. Oh excellent play. three ball. Excellent play. Wow. It's down to one. Kansas has to be strong with the ball. And then it's going to come down. Are they going to be able to knock down their free throws? 90-89. Kansas gets the ball in. Ahead to Timberlake on the run. It's a block. And he missed the shot. Did, did they call a foul? He went for the jam. Should have gone for the layup. Hit the deck hard. I got to see the replay. That, was that clean? I got to see the replay though. That was clean. That, I don't know if there was a foul right there. I that say, is I all say no. ball. I and that no. is an incredible play. Wow. Man. With the game on the line, that is an incredible block that just got taken away from Sanford. Gene Steratore, do you agree with us? I do agree with you guys. It's a great block by Sanford right there. A really great job with the inside hand getting the top of all ball right there, fellas. At any rate, it's Timberlake to the free throw line. That free throw ties his season high. Even if he hits the next one, it's still a one possession game. And Sanford's going to take their final timeout. Well, all three of us, and I think Dana would echo it as she watches the replay in her position, that that is a block shot, not a foul. Great body movement to stay out of his way, come from behind, but it was called a foul. Timberlake's got one more free throw to go. So that's Sanford's last time out. Bill Self's got one more if he needs it. So Timberlake. 
Back to the stripe. He's five out of six tonight. The fans still booing, at least the Sanford fans are. Thought it should have been a clean block. They're right. Timberlake got them both. Clutch free throws. And now they're taking the big fill out. They're taking Dickinson out. That tells me that, that Kansas is going to switch every pick and roll. They don't want any confusion. They don't want any mishaps. We're going to switch every pick and roll. Force Sanford inside the three-point line. You've got to switch hard on this. You've got to switch hard. Three-point game. Adams comes out to get Jones. That one's going up and off the mark. Scramble for the rebound. That's off a chore. And Jackson saved it off a chore with 2.4. And Sanford, Sanford's coaching staff is calling for re review. It's not going to matter. That ball was clearly off a chore. Well, Marco Jackson's done some freshman type things tonight, but he just made a veteran type play over there in the corner. That has been a busy video board over there. I've never seen it. I've never seen a, a, this many reviews in a game before. Kansas is 2.4 away from a win. So now they put time back on the clock. That's what they were looking for, maybe more than anything else. Went from 2.4 to 3.9. Have to foul immediately. As soon as they get this, as soon as Kansas gets it inbounds, it's going to have to be a foul. Depends on who's coming out of that huddle. Murphy's a good free throw shooter. Timberlake's a good free throw shooter. Harris shoots at about 78. Dickinson probably won't be out there. Juan Harris hasn't missed from the line tonight. Yeah, I think Kansas is probably going to just drop a play for any one of those guys to get the ball, but. Long as it's one of their guys that's shooting 75 and up, they're not going to really care. All they really need is just one free throw. Be interesting to see if Hunter Dickinson comes out of that Kansas huddle. No, I think he might be the inbounder. And he is coming out. If he's not the guy that's throwing it in, no, he's not. They're going to foul him immediately if he gets his hands on it. And the thing is, you can if he sets a screen, you can run through the screen and foul him as well, even before the ball gets in. So the trigger man is going to be Furphy. A chore jumping around on him. Pass comes in, comes right back to Furphy, and he's fouled with point nine to go. And that should just about do it. As Furphy will go to the free throw line. DeWan Harris, boy, it's a good thing his shoes any bigger than they are. He might have stepped out of bounds. Johnny Furphy, 13 points on the night. He's hit three, 15 points, I should say. He's hit. That'll do it. The biggest free throw right there. Wow. What a game. What a comeback. What a season by Sample. Great action by both these teams. Great win for Kansas, but man, what a comeback by Sample. Down 20. In the second half, they have nothing to hang their heads about, and they will be talking about that not blocked shot for years to come. As Kansas survives the Sanford Bulldogs and will go on to meet the Gonzaga Bulldogs on Saturday.